wanted, I think filming at 7 o'clock was a good idea in the morning. <gasps> hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and happy August. We are now in what I believe is the hottest month of the year, at least where I am from here in Columbus, Ohio. People always think that July is the hottest month, but in my opinion it is always August. Anyway, I hope the summer has been going really great for you guys. For me, I have been doing a lot of really awesome things. I recently got to run my very first 5K and I survived what actors call audition season. And now as we enter August, I can let you guys know that I have been cast in a musical. I don't know if you can see it in the dark trenches behind me in the shot. It's on my piano. I am hoping to take you guys to some music rehearsals once we move into the theater space later this month. And also happening in the middle of August, in about three weeks, I will be singing with the Symphony Orchestra here in Columbus as well. I will also be taking you guys behind the scenes when I do some photo shoots, uh, get my hair done, my dress fitted, all that fun stuff. If you guys like those kind of vlogs, let me know just down in the comments. I got a few messages that you guys did, but it's been a while since I've done one, so I just wanted to check in. But on to today's topic, which is how to have more time. I said that August is the hottest month of the year. I also think it is the busiest month of the year. For me personally, I told you guys I've got a bunch of shows and things coming up. I work with a lot of clients either on YouTube or in my music business and working a nine to five job. I do not have what makes August definitely the busiest month of the year and that is children. I'm assuming that times have not changed in August slash early September is when a majority of kids go back to school. So if you are a parent and you are patiently waiting Bless you guys, you've almost made it through the summer, but how to have more time seems to be everyone's consistent complaint or excuse or reason why they just didn't get something done. So today I wanna to talk about how to have more time. Recently I've implemented a few habits into giving myself a few more hours in the day, but I wanna talk about my number one, number one habit that I have that gives me at least an hour or two back into my daily routine. Whenever I come home from work or I'm about to sit down and dedicate some time to a specific project or anything of that nature, I like to just sit, take a deep breath, pull out my cell phone, and press the off button. Yes, I know it sounds generic. Yes, I know everyone says to do it, but honestly, they wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. Turning off my cell phone whenever I need to sit and work on something or I'm just coming home and I wanna make the most of my off time and refresh, turning off my phone ensures that that is one less distraction that's going to keep me from getting my tasks done, even if my task is just to relax. I cannot tell you guys the amount of times I've come home, particularly on a Thursday or Friday, and said to myself, okay, I'm gonna get A, B, C, D, E, F, G done on my list, it's gonna be great, I'm gonna feel so far ahead, I'm gonna have you know a step up on the weekend, I'm really gonna enjoy those two days, off from the office. And then I come home, put my bag down, say, you know what, I'm just gonna lay on the couch for 20 minutes, just kind of decompress, that I'm totally getting on that list. And then you know what happens? <laughs> 20 minutes. 40 minutes. <laughs> Two hours later. And by that point, I'm usually tired or hungry, and you know what happens to that to-do list? It just sits by my planner, by my purse, on my desk, by the door, wherever I've left it, and it does not get done. Let me know down in the comments your biggest time management struggle. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys are struggling with. For me, it's just always sticking to that to-do list and getting things done. Either way, even if you don't want to turn it off, here are three ways. Three three ways to minimize cell phone usage. Number one is to reward yourself with 10 to 15 minute breaks when you've completed about 40 to 45 minutes worth of work. This way, when you are trying to focus and get something done, you can think to yourself, okay, once I finish this task and 45 minutes have passed, I'm gonna get that break, I'm gonna get to use my phone, and then just be disciplined enough to either turn it off again or put it away for another extended amount of time. Number two is to set aside one to two hours a day strictly with no technology. And no, this cannot be when you're sleeping. I had a client once ask me, can it be when I'm sleeping? No, the point of this is to be able to have time just away from technology. 
it's actually during this time that I like to either take a pamper day or just an hour to relax, or it'll be when I'm just putting on music and I'm gonna do my laundry, vacuum sweep, do my dishes, all the fun parts that come with home ownership or just being a cleanly human being. I don't think you have to own a home to do those things. And lastly, tip number three, which I think is the best tip of them all, make the first and last hour of every day phoneless. Put your phone on the other side of the room, relax, read, talk to your spouse, even watch TV if you have it there. Just do not have your phone. Do not have something that you are currently looking at, touching with, engaging with, if it is a piece of technology. I find it's a lot easier to unwind at the end of the day and a lot easier to get focused and moving at the beginning of the day when you don't have a phone there that is distracting you. The one exception I do make to this rule is if you play your music in the morning or evening on your phone. Just don't have your phone within reach so you cannot grab it. But those are my three tips on how to get more done and have more time in your day with not using your cell phone. But with those three tips, I promise you, you will get so much more done in your day and find that you have so much more time. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your biggest struggle is when it comes to getting your to-do list done. Do you spend too much time on your phone? Do you have other distractions? Let me know. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys have to say on that topic. But anyway, that is all for today's video. Once again, happy August, you guys. We are in our last month for my favorite season of the year, which is obviously fall. One month till football. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to let me know by giving this one a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And if you are watching this as an unsubscribed viewer, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. We have a lot coming through the month of August where I'll be uploading every Monday through Friday. So make sure you guys don't miss that. Click the subscription button. And then next to that subscription button, there is a little bell. If you click that bell, you get a notification whenever something is posted from my channel. Again, we have so much coming, and let me know if you do want to see those vlogs coming up with any of my promotional work, or the musical that I'm in, or the symphony concert, or any of the above. I'm trying to keep it all straight, trying to keep it all on a planner. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, there's a squirrel in the backyard.